Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to talk about the loadout system in Velocidrone. So if you've been using Velocidrone from our original release to Velocidrone 1.14 then you'll be used to when you go to single player seeing a huge list of quads down the left hand side here. And also you'll be used to the fact that if you change any of these settings that are over here which are the quad settings that these would change for all quads that you had in your list of quads that you could select from so if you change to you know a smaller prop or you change these lift or drag values it applied to any quad that you loaded from the sidebar here where all the quads were and that has changed in Velostrone 115 in Velostrone 115 every quad is unique so any Beat of light settings you change, any quad settings you change, uh, anything you do to the quad in fact is unique now to the quad that is to do with settings. So every quad has its own uh, rates, has its own props, its own drags, its own lift. Uh, you can have multiple versions of the same quad if you like with different setups on them. Um, and that was the point of the re of the 115 release because we introduced X class or mega class quads as we call them we needed to be able to separate the quads out because you couldn't change to say a 5146 prop and then have your mega class quad, quad running a 5146 prop the quads needed to have separate attributes if we were going to have different sizes now from version 1 to version 14 we only did 5 inch quads but from 115 onwards we're doing different sizes of quads and so the quads needed to have a uniqueness so that they could be configured separately. So the question is well where are all the quads gone? How do you get more than the one quad? Um, by default when you load up a new version of the sim you'll just have my oblivion in here and this will be have a default setup on it and you won't see any other quads that you can select to fly. So how you deal with this is on the front page there is add quad and if you go in here this is now where all the quads are stored and you'll notice in here that I also have uh, the X class or mega class quads as well in here because I've got the premium content update so if you haven't bought the premium content you won't see these big quads in here but regardless of that if you want to fly any quad that you see in this list you only need to select it and then click select model and it will ask you to give it a name so let's call this board sword one and click save now what that has done it doesn't look like it's done anything but if you now come back out of here and go into single player you'll now see that you've got broadsword one here and you can now configure this quad to have any settings that you'd like so I could edit its settings here and give it a 1310 prop like so so now this has got a 1310 prop on it I can now go back to add quad and I could add another broadsword I could have a number two here one sword two save that go back to single player and now I've got broadsword two here and you can see this one's got a 1312 prop on it and this one's got a 1310 prop on it so you can now have in your list of quads that you fly only the quads that you want to fly so you haven't got to look through a huge number of quads anymore and you can configure them how you want and name them how you want so that you know what they are so you could have you know, a freestyle broadsword and a racing broadsword or a freestyle oblivion and a racing oblivion and you could set them up for different styles of flight with different rates different settings different weights different drag profiles however you want to set them up and that was the point of the new system was to give you that flexibility to do that now if you don't want to set up anymore you can select it and do delete quad and it will get rid of it or if you decide you want to change the name of something you can rename it so I could call this broad one instead and it just becomes broad one there so and then if you want to fly either of these you know if I want to fly broadsword 2 I just click broadsword 2 and click select quad and that will take me to the flight screen where I can fly or if I want to fly broadsword 1 or broad 1 as it's now called I just click select quad and that will take me to the screen to fly 
So that's the new system. These these are called loadouts. Um, it's a you know it's a loadout system, which is kind of from an, a first-person shooter. It's first-person shooter terminology where you decide what equipment you you want in your loadout, and we call these the same. So these are loadouts, and you can have as many loadouts as you wish. There's no limit. You can add as many quads into here as you like, but the point of it really was that you had this separation and ability to configure different sizes of quads with different props and different weights and different profiles and rates and all that kind of stuff. So that's uh, that's the point of it all, that's how it now works and if you come in here are confused and think you have only got one quad, no that's not the case at all, you just need to go to add quad and add whichever quads you want to your personal hanger of quads and then they will appear in single player or multiplayer for you to fly. Okay, so that's it and I'll see you on the next video.